What is going on aliens? I'm Mike Rosa and today I'm gonna show you what I personally do to maximize the dumbbell goblet squat to get the most gains possible for my legs. Now real quick before we get into the routine, make sure you download my workout app called Exerprise. It is a free download on both the app and Play Store. You can generate thousands of workouts based on your customized selections, so make sure you check that out and get them gained with me aliens. Now back to this video, we're gonna be going through three tips that I personally do every time I do the dumbbell goblet squat that really helps me optimize movement to maximize my leg gains. Now let's stop me talking so much and get right into the first tip. Tip number one is to keep the chest up. This is to maintain that upper back tightness. Now I'm gonna to refer to the barbell front squat where you have to keep your elbows up in order to have that barbell be positioned behind the front deltoids. Otherwise it will roll forward and your back is gonna cave forward and you're gonna screw up your repetition. When it comes to the dumbbell goblet squat, it's the same principles except your elbows don't have to stay as high. You can have your elbows come to more of a resting position but since you're in this more comfortable position, in my opinion, it's more comfortable. You have the elbows stay tight, but they don't have to be so high up. So this means we have to make sure we're keeping our upper back tightness. So you pinch the chest up, you pinch those shoulder blades back, then you keep your positioning. And this is going to ensure that you're not going to be caving forward and you're able to get that deep range of motion while keeping the upper back tightness. On a tip number two now, and it is to squat down with your elbow path. And let me show you what I mean by that. So when I talk about your elbow path, I'm mainly talking about your rep consistency because when you can make your reps consistent, it's gonna improve your rep quality. So tip number one, establish that upper back tightness by keeping that chest up. So now we have that chest up, we have that upper back tightness. Now you notice that my elbows are in a position right here tight to my body, but still to the side, and they're pretty comfortable. They're not in a really uncomfortable squeeze position. They're just kind of staying down there. Now when I come down for the actual squat, to ensure that my knees aren't coming forward or that my positioning isn't rotating forward, I'm gonna be following my elbow path. And then my body is naturally gonna squat down in a proper pattern that I can be consistent with. As long as you follow that elbow path, your reps are gonna stay consistent and you're gonna make sure you're gonna maximize those leg gains by having that tightness throughout the entire set. All right, I'll keep picking up this dumbbell for you aliens. Ugh. On to tip number three, and it is to use your elbows to your knees as a reference point. A lot of people don't know exactly how to establish a range of motion. So having a reference point can be absolutely key to ensuring that you're maximizing the muscle fibers engaged in the exercise because you're actually utilizing all the proper channels you need to establish that full mobility, which will translate over to more strength and muscle development. So let's get in our upper back tightness position with that chest up. Now the elbows, we're following them down. Now when you come down, no matter if your feet are close, your feet are wide, when you come down, you're gonna be coming to a position that is gonna bring you just a little below parallel, and this is when those elbows meet those knees. Now more specifically, it's coming right in between those knees. So I say meet the knees because obviously that's where you're going down to, but you can actually tap your elbows to right about here, end of the thigh and the start of the knee. That's a great position to make sure you're coming really deep into the motion, maximizing as much leg fibers as possible, then exploding back up, and you can ensure that you're staying consistent by following that exact same rep pattern. Ah, uh, yeah, aliens, you know I got you that bonus tip. And today's bonus tip is to reset your positioning at the top of every single repetition. And the reason I say that is a lot of times when people are failing front squat variations, it's because they're losing their upper back tightness, causing them to cave forward, putting their lower back in jeopardized positions, and they take away all that leg engagement. The whole point of front squat variations, so the dumbbell goppa squat in this situation, is to put a lot more emphasis on those quadriceps. So if you're falling forward fatiguing because you're losing that upper back tightness the whole exercise doesn't even make sense you're supposed to be having your legs fatigue first not any other muscle group so make sure you're maintaining your tightness and by maintaining your tightness and reestablishing that position at the top you are not changing around your pattern of your repetition you're still staying consistent coming down the entire time getting that deep range of motion just when you come up if you need to reset those shoulder blades just make sure you're staying tight look my elbow position didn't even change it stayed the same I'm just reestablishing that I need to keep my upper back back tight, then repeating that motion, keeping the rep pattern the same, and making sure I'm optimizing my leg gains. So I hope you aliens like this video, and if so, make sure to smash that thumbs up button for me, and click that notification bell right next to subscribe so you don't miss any new video uploads from me. Now a quick recap of the tips. Tip number one, make sure to keep that chest up to maintain that upper back tightness. Tip number two, squat down with that elbow path to maintain your rep consistency and your rep quality. Tip number three, have your elbows to your knees right inside of those knees as a reference point for your full range of motion, getting really deep and maximizing those leg gains. And then that bonus tip, make sure you're resetting at the top of every single repetition 
competition if you're someone who does tend to cave forward on the front squat fatiguing because you lose tightness rather than having your legs fatigued i hope this helped you out aliens i have one-on-one -on -one training available on my website anabolicaliens.com i'm taking on a few more clients i build custom work and meal plans we're always getting them gains gains out of this world have no limits peace